uh, 11, Lucas and Dustin in the show, also known as Millie Bobby Brown, Caleb McLaughlin and Gaetan Matarazzo. Come on out, guys. <laughs> This is like a before and after of show business right here. Look at that. <laughs> hey guys, well, great to have you here. Thank you for joining us. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, now, how would you describe Stranger Things to people who haven't seen it? Um, I'd say it's a supernatural thriller that is very intriguing. With some cool, a really cool cast. <laughs> uh, it's about a boy who goes missing, who vanishes into thin air, but he vanishes to the unknown. And his family and friends come look for him. Me and Gayton are one of his friends. Yeah. And we find this strange girl. Who messes everything up. Yeah. yeah. No. Technically. Right. <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's been huge, hasn't it? I mean, I, would it be fair to say that it's changed all your lives? Of course, you're very young, so anything that's happened is going to change your lives, I guess, to an extent. <laughs> but, but it's changed your life. I mean, you must get recognised just about everywhere. Have you noticed that, uh, that effect? Have you been had a lot of fan attention? Mm -hmm, definitely. Um, I've been getting recognized on the street all the time. I mean, there is somebody that actually tattooed me on their arm. Wow. Two, pe two instances that I know of. Right. It's really weird. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, yes, it is peculiar. I wouldn't have a child on my arm, but, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but they're just very intrigued by our characters. It's kind of... It's kind of it's weird, but nice. I'm guessing none of you have any tattoos yet? <laughs> no. No, good, good, good. I'm 47. Are you tempted to have tattoos when you're old enough to legally have tattoos? I'm scared. No, you know, I don't, I don't want think to. I would mark my body. No, good. I'm that's... not going to ruin all this chocolate song. Hey, but Kelly, tell me about the part you play. Uh, you play one of the friends who's looking for the missing friend. Isn't yes. Okay. Um, I play Lucas Sinclair. And he's very conscientious. He's not, he doesn't trust everyone. Um, he doesn't trust Eleven. She does weird things. He doesn't really invite her to his group. And he's very loyal to his friendship. And he's always going to look after everybody. He's always going to have Except everyone's back. And Gayton, you play uh, the other friend, of course. I play Dustin, the um, food-loving, um, one-liner king character. But, that was a lot. Yeah. I think that sums it up. Let me, one of the distinctive things, and people notice you have a distinctive way of speaking, Gayton, and that is uh, built into your character, isn't it? Because there's a, a condition, and uh, tell me if I'm saying this right, or you should perhaps say it. It's cleidocranial dysotosis? No. Uh, well, back in the 80s or the 70s, it was called cleidocranial dysostosis, right. but now it's called, the correct way, cleidocranial dysplasia. Okay. And it's a condition where you're born without your collarbones. I don't have any. It affects your facial growth, your skull growth. Your, um, it affects your teeth, so that's why I don't have any. These are fake right here. I have teeth, but I mean, they're all baby teeth. But um, mm -hmm. I, I need a lot of surgery, and I have a really mild case, and a lot of people have it much worse than I do. And I feel like putting it into the show is really raising awareness for it. And I'm lucky that mine was very mild, but now that it's in my genes, which y it usually is passed down through genes, it wasn't for me. It just happened. So now that it's in my gene, I have a 50% chance of passing it down in my genes, and it could be much worse for them. But yeah, I, do, I just want to raise awareness for it and let people know that it's not something they should be um, afraid of showing. You <laughs> well, thank, you for, thank you for talking about it. Now, Millie, you have to, uh, as we just saw in the clip, you, saw, you, ha you had to shave your head for the part. Yes. Well, that shows a lot of commitment for anyone, but especially for a young woman in show business, you have to do that when your first big gigs. Was that a tough decision to make? Were you, were you comfortable with that concept? Oh, yeah, I was very excited. I mean, when I first found out, yeah, I was like, OK, that's negotiable, you know, we can negotiate <laughs> some things. And then I was like, no, no, it's not. It's not. <laughs> and then it was one day where we was all in school and... Um, you know, Caleb goes in first to have his hairstyle, you know, Gayton and Noah and Finn, and then I'm the last one. And I go in, and it just all goes off. And then I come into lunch. But it took about, like, two hours. It took about two hours, yeah. So did you have long hair before? It's pretty long, yes, was it? Yes, it was mm -hmm. about... No, it's not. It was probably about down to here. Right, OK. okay. Yeah, but the boys didn't actually recognise me. OK, uh, now, what were you guys like when you were this age? I suspect nowhere near as frighteningly confident. No. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think that you're more intelligent than me now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just find it amazing though, because like, now like you can put a show on like, and be streamed like straight to your phone or your tablet and stuff like that. But like when I was your your age, that never happened. Like, do you know what this is? Like, <laughs> it sounds like a mix it... between a dolphin do... and a speedboat. It's Nearly. Like do you know what it is? It's the internet. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a kid, that's what the internet sounded like. <laughs> 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 Yeah. And basically, he was only allowed to go on the internet <laughs> after six and at weekends. Wait, but what, what year is this? This is only, like, probably about 15 years ago, oh. right? <laughs> and basically, if you was on the internet, you had one computer in the house, yeah. and your mum picked up the phone, <laughs> you weren't on the internet yeah. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that was it, game over. Yeah. Yeah. I downloaded a trailer to a film. I downloaded, you know, you, know, you can go online. You now, had to download? Trailer. Yes, but wait. <laughs> wait, I had to download a trailer to Nanny McV. Guess how long it took? 72 hours. Oh. <laughs> I went to bed for three nights going, <laughs> Nanny McVee will be ready soon. <laughs> OK, so, guys, I'm going to do a little test with you here. You guys can join as well. I thought I'd see whether or not in your research for the 1980s, whether you would fully immerse yourself. So I'm going to show you. We're going to set it up like an 80s, uh, a little 80s game show. We they have can't a little... do that. They lived in the 80s. Yeah, well, no, no. they're not being quizzed. No. Oh, OK, oh. OK. So uh, let's play Things Were Stranger in the 80s. Bring it out. <laughs> So, uh, up here, you can probably see we've got a conveyor belt out there. This is uh, Things Were Strange in the 80s. And I'm mm -hmm. going to put things on there. And you guys have to decide as it's going past you, was this a real thing or was this not real in the 80s? Will you guys catch at the end? Okay, yeah, sure. okay let's go to the first question. Yeah. Which of these famous duos from the 1980s were a married couple? Was it the Crankies? Okay. Was it George and Andrew of Wham? Or was it Annie and Dave from the Eurythmics? Uh, Annie and Dave. Fellas, what do you think? Yeah, Penny and Dave. I think it's these no, guys. No, you it's, 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 it's these lot. It's yeah. that lot. You can't the change. You That's can't not fair. Cr you can't change. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're C. It's A. You're C. No, no, I'm going to play the game C fairly. Yeah. Fine. Okay. Fine. Wow. So, so, no need to get. So I mean, you know, <laughs> don't turn that. It was the Crankies. It was. You got it right. There you go. One for Caleb. Here's the next question. Have a look at this man here. He was popular on TV in the 1980s. Right? Oh, oh, that's that's terrifying. Okay. Now, uh, what, what did he used to whack children with on his <laughs> TV show? Know. Was Please. it a fish? Oh. Was it a mallet? Yes. Oh, that's an or was it a feather duster? Okay, I'm going to say that fish. because his last name it's is. It's so cool getting hit with the fish, I bet. I bet it's a fish. Like yeah, a fun fish. So we've got two fish, one mallet. A mallet. Yeah. Millie, you're right with mallet. Oh, thank you. Which of these uh, was not a flavour of crisp in the 1980s? Was it hedgehog? Was it kipper? What was not favourite? What was not a oh, flavour? Or was it mushroom soup? Which one was not a flavour? This is really hard. Hedgehog. Hedgehog, yeah. Yeah. Hedgehog, mushroom hedgehog, hedgehog soup. was a flavour. Oh, what? no! Mushroom soup. No, mushroom soup was not a flavour. No. Are you, is this, are you having a yeah. breakdown? Is this true? Wait, let's just review. You said that there's a flavour crisp of a hedgehog. Don't do those spooky eyes on me. <laughs> Take him down, then. Honestly, you're right. Let's just go on to the next toy. They said it was oh a hedgehog. My oh, my goodness. How did it, not, that did is it taste weird. like hedgehog? Oh, well, ideally, I'm yes. Curious. <laughs> OK, great. here's our last question for you. Which of these in the 80s was uh, not a children's television Oh, oh I think I got this one. OK, OK. okay. okay. Was it the critter? Oh, oh my God, that's mm. awful. Mm -hmm. Was it the witch. Zelda? This is like my Tinder. Zelda, I think. <laughs> Zelda. Oh my God. <laughs> or was it Nosy Box? No, no, no. I, oh. I think it's not. I think it's not. Which one was not? I think it's the second one. I, I feel like it's going to be obvious. I think it's the first one. The first one. You think the first one was not a children's person? I think yeah. the second one. The second well, one. I don't you think uh, Zelda that was not? Now. See, that is way too messed up to be a, in a children's show. So you're saying <laughs> the one of those which I'm was not a. in children's I television was C? I think that one is Caleb, you're right. A was Critter from the movie. You see, yeah, the other one was in television. C was a children's show. Did anybody watch that show? Okay, what do you remember? <laughs> no, Lucy <laughs> Box is watching you. Okay? I don't want to remember hey, that. Ladies and gentlemen, let's say thank you to our friends here from Stranger Things. Congratulations, Caleb. You know your 80s stuff.